Now, to calculate profit margins, you're going to need uh, profit and you're going to need sales because profit margin is essentially what proportion of your sales are resulting in pure profit. So after the cost is accounted for, how much of your sales is profit? Now, in order to do that, you're going to need both sales and profit. And so setting up this table um, can be, if you're doing it day by day, it's actually not too bad. You could have tables of daily profit margins. Um, but for a lot of this data, there the profit margins are going to be the same in the department all the way across the board. So you really just need the overall profit margin. You don't really need the day of the week profit margins or the, the daily individual day profit margins. So I'm going to tack my formula onto the end of my profit table uh, because I'm just going to work with the overall. And again, you can work with the overall total. You can work with the overall average. Uh, basically, these are always they're because they're proportional. They're always going to come out to be the same value. And again, um, the you can do these for each day, each day of the week, each weekly average, each weekly total. I mean, there's lots of different aspects of profit margin that you can calculate, but essentially um, they're always gonna be calculated exactly the same way. For the profit margin for our first department, which was grocery, then we're gonna take our profit calculation, our overall average, and we're gonna divide it by our overall sales for that same department. Now, the formatting here is not great because profit margin is a percentage. And so because you're building it based on currency calculations, it's, Excel may default to this dollar amount that's, that doesn't mean anything. So you're gonna go back to your um, currency uh, or number formatting, and you're gonna change this to a percentage. And again, because we are calculating all of these from the same tables uh, with the same separation, once we calculate one and format it, we should be able to calculate it all the way down the table. Now, one thing that I will note uh, here is that because profit margins do not add up to 100%, uh, you can't put them in a pie graph. We will see the pie chart later. The other thing is that sometimes um, people will want to calculate like daily totals, like these total average, the, the week one total for of the averages or the individual day totals. If you do that, um, there there is an issue that you have to keep in mind, which is that you cannot actually calculate profit margins the same way. You cannot just add these up and get a total. If you have an overall average, um, like total daily sales average, and you add them up across departments, you have to recalculate the pro profit margin exactly the same way. Take your total profit and divide by your total corresponding sales. So I'm gonna do that now just so that you can see what's going to happen. Um, these are, but you can't add the percentages. That doesn't work. That will give you a wrong value. Profit margins can never be more than 100%. And if you add these, you will definitely get more than 100%. So if you want the overall profit margin, like what is, of all the sales that we do, what is the profit margin? You would need the sum, the total of, your averages or the overall total, you would need some sort of representative total. And you would also need that same formula for the sales. And then you can calculate your overall profit margin by calculating that total profit divided by the total sales. And so what you can see here is that you have some departments that are, have very high above average profit margins. Um, this last department, home and office does pretty well. Uh, this department right here, outdoor and garden seems to also do pretty well. And then you have some departments that are doing worse than average, but 
um, that just usually the profit margins just depend on the type of goods. Um, some things allow for larger markups than others, but this will give you your sort of overall. And then at least then you have a baseline to say, these are doing above average, these are doing below average, but you can't just add them. That doesn't work. All right, now we're gonna talk about doing our graphs in the next video.